What's up guys, it's Lou from Unbox Therapy and today we're taking a look at the Airport Express from Apple. This is the latest generation and many think it's just a standard sort of slim wireless router but in reality it can do a little bit more and the reason we bought it is not to behave as a wireless router but instead to act as a wireless interface. I'll tell you more about that as the video moves forward but to put it in simple terms, we've got a Mac Pro that doesn't have a wireless card in it, and this is one of the easiest ways to make it wireless enabled. Now, this device can obviously also be used as a standard wireless router supporting AirPlay, can stream music from iTunes or your iPad, etc. It also has a print server, so there's a USB port that you can plug any standard USB printer into, and all of a sudden, it becomes a network printer. So let's go ahead and jump into the unboxing. It's a pretty simple one. I'll show you guys the device as well as the other items included in the box. Now, as I mentioned earlier in this video, our function is going to be to enable a Mac Pro. The way that this works is this device actually can connect to a wireless network on its own. So if you've got a pre-existing router like we do, this thing can tap into it. You just type in the password and all of a sudden this becomes an enabled device. Now, maybe you don't have a Mac Pro that doesn't have Wi-Fi on it, but say you have an older games console or really any device that's lacking wireless and you can't install a dedicated wireless card, this will enable those devices. It's also pretty damn sleek and uh, small for a wireless device, especially if you're using it as a router. It's got a simple design on the front. You have a single LED light on the back is where you'll find your ports. You've got power as well as some others. I'll give you a closer look at that as the video moves forward. Other than that, I mean, we're talking about a simple unboxing here. You have a power cable, which Apple always makes look real pretty by coiling it up in this fashion right here. That's all you're going to have to plug into it, except for, of course, the Ethernet cable. And lastly, we have a little bit of paperwork from Apple. This is a setup guide, but you can really do most of the setup just by using Airport Utility if you're on a Mac. And you can also get this setup, setup guide in a digital format on their website if you choose to. But hey, who knows? Maybe you're not connected to the internet yet, so having a setup guide in paper form is not such a bad thing. So as I mentioned earlier, this is an incredibly small device, about the same size as an Apple TV, the latest generation. Very similar, in fact, in many ways except for the fact that it's white instead of black. On the back, you have your power port as well as a WAN port, a LAN port, the USB port for that print server or otherwise. You have an audio port for AirTunes, a wireless streaming of music, and of course, there is a reset button to completely reset the device and go back to factory defaults. So a pretty simple thing to set up. I just wanted to explain you know, how we were using it in the office. Here's a better idea. This, of course, is our Mac Pro. It's an older 8-core machine, but now we just can just put this little little airport express on top and all of a sudden it has wireless uh, some of you might not know but getting a wi-fi card for an older mac pro is pretty hard to do and the prices get jacked up on ebay etc and they're not very versatile you pretty much just have a standard card that can only do one thing with the airport express you can do a lot of different things say we have to repurpose it in the future as a wireless extender or otherwise so today's sponsor is gamefly and uh if you don't know about gamefly that's where you rank games online. They have an incredible inventory of titles to choose from. And you can sign up for a very low monthly fee and get an unlimited number of rentals. It's pretty simple to use as well. You just pick a game, they'll send it to your house, and when you're done playing it, you send it back and they'll send you the next one in your queue. It's very, very simple and you always have a fresh title to play without the investment of purchasing games. You get to try a lot and not spend a lot. So. It's a pretty cool service and you can actually get a free trial right now. Uh-oh. <laughs> Which uh, will give you, I believe, two weeks of the service and you can try it out, see if you like it, and then sign up. Use the link down in the description. It's gamefly.com therapy. Thanks guys and thanks to Gamefly for sponsoring this episode. Later.